Yo, what is up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to some more Call of Duty Modern Warfare. So before I actually get into today's video, guys, I just want to let you guys know that today is my birthday. So anyone that actually says happy birthday to me within the comments, I really do appreciate it. It means a lot to me. Actually, I did end up getting this Luke Skywalker pop figure. Very surprised about it. But as you guys know, my name's Luke, Luke Skywalker. A lot of people make that joke, but it's actually a pretty cool thing. But regardless, if you guys do say happy birthday down in the comment section, it would mean a lot to me. You guys don't have to do it. I'm just saying, if you guys do, just thank you you guys so much but as you guys do know season six actually did come out yesterday i'm still working towards the gold m13 i still need to get mounted long shots but they did actually get rid of shipment 24 7 and shoot house 24 7 so getting long shots might be a pain i'm pretty sure call of duty did add a season six mosh pit including their new maps it includes broadcast and the maelster tank factory i don't know if any of them are good for long shots or anything but i'm definitely gonna try both of the maps out hopefully and see how both of them go but within the store call of duty added a ton of bundles guys like when i say a ton I mean a ton. First off, we have this Undead Forces bundle, which gives you a Hellhound pet. Okay. Like this skin, I really wish they added this skin within the battle pass. Like this is the type of skin I'm looking for. Like even though it has a little bit of blood on the front, it's still sort of spooky looking. You also do get this Assault Rifle variant, which sort of looks kind of cool. So here's the Hellhound pet you do end up getting. That's actually really cool. I love how you just summon it and it's like a demon dog. That is so sick. And then you just get a bunch of other Halloween stuff. I'm guessing Call of Duty is going to be releasing bundles like this leading up to the Haunting of Verdansk event and I'm super excited for that event but it comes out in like a month so can't be waiting a long time. Call of Duty also did add this Fool's Gold 3 bundle. It does come with this executive suite blueprint. It's nothing spooky or Halloween-y but it does look pretty sick, really clean and everything. It looks so good. We also do get this Choose Here holiday bundle or however you pronounce it. I don't want to butcher anything but I'm pretty sure it did. Comes with this Mother of Pearl assault rifle variant. Nothing really stands out but I do love how it has like the flowers throughout and actually shines and you can actually see it. Like the little details like that just look so Sick. We also get this free bundle, the Merry Mid Autumn Festival bundle. I might as well just claim it. Then of course, we're not done with the bundles. We have three more to go. We have this A Comfortable Death bundle. I really did think this blueprint was gonna look spooky because of the bundle name, but regardless, I mean, it looks cool. The colors are nice and super clean. We get this Mako CQC Pro bundle. You get this Mac Daddy Assault Rifle blueprint and this Dark Matter Shotgun blueprint. I mean, the blueprints in this bundle are nothing real special. Like they don't look pretty or anything. It's kind of underwhelming. And then for our final bundle that Call of Duty did add, we have this Two Wolves bundle. It comes with the Call of the Wild Shotgun, which actually looks really, really nice. I mean, it sort of looks like it has a zebra print, but you can actually see like the wolves on it. You can see the white wolf in the middle and then the black wolf at the back on the stock. It actually looks really, really nice. But anyways, guys, before I get into it, if you guys could please give this video a big thumbs up, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel to show support. I appreciate all of it. Support on the past few videos lately have just been insane, especially on yesterday's video. If you guys haven't seen it, make sure you guys go check it out. I just went over the season six battle pass and the support on that video was just insane. So again, thank you guys so much for that. It really does mean a lot to me. Make sure you guys subscribe and turn on the bell notification for some more Call of Duty content like this, especially Season 6 content, because that'd be much appreciated. And of course, if you guys do spam up the happy birthdays down in the comment section, it would mean a lot to me. Again, I'm not saying you guys have to or anything, but just thank you to everyone that does. But anyways, guys, let's hop right into it. So here we are on broadcast. Kind of reminds me of somewhere in Warzone. I don't really remember where because I haven't played Warzone in a long time, but they gave me hard point and I don't like hard point. Here's the layout of the map. It sort of looks like it's enclosed for the most part, but there's some open areas. I honestly don't know how this map's gonna go. I do think it will be heavily favored towards close quarters combat though, just because it's gonna be indoor most of the time in this little news station. It's so weird seeing lobbies with such low levels. I'm so used to being in lobbies where people are level 155. Oh, I got a long shot. So you actually can get long shots on this map. Not really surprising since there's an outdoor area to this map. It does say very close quarters though, so I might have to actually switch out my gun. I don't think getting long shots is gonna be a very good idea on this map. It's so weird playing core. Like I'm so used to playing hardcore. I probably should've selected this within hardcore, but. This really does feel like that part in Warzone. I don't remember what part in Warzone it reminds me of because I haven't played Warzone in a long time, but it just reminds me of Warzone. I'm really, really excited for season six though. Like the battle pass looked really, really good. Obviously I went over it in yesterday's video, which got a ton of support. Again, thank you guys so much for that. I really wish they did add more Halloween stuff. Like we got that one Minotaur skin with like the blood on the mask, which looked super duper clean. But other than that, I mean, yeah, we did get that bundle today where the lady had like the blood on her vest, but I really was expecting some more bundles, especially 
especially since they dropped a ton. I mean, a lot of them were holiday bundles as well, but I can't wait for the Halloween bundles. I can't wait for the Haunting of the Dance event, especially since you do get skins and weapon blueprints for participating in that event. Kind of like the games of summer. I do wonder how the Haunting of the Dance will work. I got a feeling it'll be a Warzone thing since it does say Haunting of the Dance. So that means everyone can participate, free to play players or not. But I'm very, very excited to see what the blueprints and the skins are going to look like because Halloween skins in any game just looks so clean. Call of Duty did also release those two free guns. It was a marksman rifle and an assault rifle. I don't remember the names of them. I have seen some people actually use the marksman rifle and the ADS on that just looks super duper quick. Like it's honestly ridiculous. Like I know the sniper community thought they were getting a sniper rifle. They sort of did. They got a marksman rifle instead and the ADS speed is just insane. Plus their damage is also insane when you equip like a certain magazine. I don't know how the assault rifle goes because I know the assault rifle has those subsonic rounds. So I kind of do wonder how they do. I don't know how fast the fire rate is or anything. I didn't see any gameplay of the assault rifle, but it'd be very, very interesting to see how that goes. I might just like watch a video after I record this just to see how it goes. But season six dropped a ton off the bat. Like if you go in the war zone, you can play that armored royale with the vehicles and everything. Like that just sort of reminds you of Mad Max, how they all just run around in vehicles and just try to kill each other on that. Maybe that's what they're going for because they did actually add turrets onto trucks. I really hope that's not permanent, but who knows, Call of Duty just does dumb stuff like that. I'm supposed to be getting long shots on here, but I can't. I do wonder what the other map is like though. I wonder if it's going to be kind of like this, or if it's going to be a more open map. Bro, stop spraying. That's disgusting. Bro, look at that. Oh, dude, that's so annoying. The only thing when Call of Duty does add new maps is that you barely get to play them because Call of Duty adds playlists like Shipment 24-7 or Shoot House 24-7 and you have no chance to actually play the Season 6 maps except for at the start of the season. Like, I haven't played the new Season 5 maps that they dropped in a long time. Like, the only time I actually played them was at the start of Season 5 when they had a Season 5 mosh pit. Other than that, yeah, dude, I haven't played them at all. I'm super excited for tomorrow, guys, because that's when the Call of Duty Cold War Zombies revealed trailer is being dropped. Like, I'm super excited to see what they showcase within that trailer. I wonder if they'll have any new mechanics compared to other Zombies games. I mean, personally, I don't really play Zombies a whole lot when I do play a Black Ops game, but Zombies is still pretty fun to play in my spare time and everything. I mean, it comes at like 3 o'clock in the morning tomorrow, so I'm definitely not reacting to it as soon as it drops, but I'm still going to be dropping a reaction trailer. So make sure you guys subscribe, turn on the bell notification so you guys know when I do drop that video. I swear, I keep plugging everything, guys. I'm very sorry. <laughs> but I'm just super excited to see what they announce. A lot of people have been speculating a lot of things. They probably are going to do something like how they did with multiplayer and give us like a bunch of different maps and some gameplay on that map. Maybe within the beta, you can actually play zombies, especially since the reveal trailer is coming out before the beta. The beta actually comes out very, very soon. I'm pretty sure it comes out in like a week or so I'm very very excited man like this season season 6 of Modern Warfare is probably the final season before a lot of us actually go into Cold War and I'm just super excited to get out of Modern Warfare man like of course I'm super excited for that Haunting of Verdansk event and all the Halloween stuff that's coming from Modern Warfare but Modern Warfare in general dude I might have to save this for another video but it is not that good I mean don't get me wrong Modern Warfare is like a fun game and everything especially when you go for the camos but the way they make you get your camos is not good but I'll probably have to save my final thoughts and opinions for when I actually play Modern Warfare for the final time before Cold War comes out. I know I got a few long shots within that game, but unfortunately I didn't lock any cameras. I really don't know how long it's going to take for me to actually get this gold M13 now that I think about it, especially since they got rid of Shoot House. So I really can't do mounted long shots as easily as I thought. I might have to switch it up, maybe complete Dragon since Dragon's really done. I've only got three more hitfire kills, but I don't know. Ever since Shoot House 24-7 has gone away, these mounted long shots could be super difficult. But anyways, guys, that's it for this video. Thank you all so much for watching. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. So season six is finally here. I'm super excited for it. Of course, I went over the battle pass in yesterday's video, and again, I can't thank you guys enough for the support on that. It was just insane. We did end up playing one of the new Season 6 maps called Broadcast. It's actually a very weird map. It does remind me of somewhere in Warzone, but I haven't played Warzone in a long time, so I really can't remember. So I'm very sorry about that. It's a very close quarters map, especially within that new station, and there's some sort of open area, but not really. Most of the action does happen inside that new station. I'm excited to see how the other map plays to see if it's close quarters or not, but also I'm very excited for tomorrow that Call of Duty Cold War Zombies reveal trailer. Like, I'm just really excited to see what they drop and reveal within that trailer. Like, I know it's gonna be insane. But anyways, guys, as if this video, thank you all so much for watching. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy. If you did, please make sure to give this video a big thumbs up, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel show support. I appreciate all of it. Make sure you guys subscribe and turn on the bell notifications for some more Call of Duty content like this. That would be much appreciated by me. Again, thank you all so much for watching. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy. See you all in the next one.